All right, let's move on to the next one. And the next email today comes to us from Joe Din, who writes, Hey, John, with AMC A-lists coming, do you feel the tides may finally be turning regarding movie theaters focusing on enticing new customers versus milking their existing customers, i.e. raising prices? Thanks. All right. This, to me, Joe, is the most overlooked and probably the most important element about this whole AMC A-list program. And it says, number one, yeah, it's a great program. It's going to be wonderful. Blah, blah, blah. But my big criticism of the past couple of years about the movie industry as a whole, the studios and the theaters combined, has been that they have been sticking their heads in the sand about the fact that fewer and fewer people are going to the movies and they've been compensating for fewer and fewer, fewer people going by charging the people that are going to the movies more and more and more. So it's like, oh, we have less customers. Let's charge more money to make up for the money, which causes even less customers. Oh, we've got even more less customers now. Let's raise prices again to compensate, which causes less customers. And this vicious, horrible, self-defeating cycle has been in play now for a number of years in movie theaters where instead of looking for ways to bring more people back into the movie theaters, they've been looking for ways to get more money out of the people that are going to the movies. And that is just self-defeating logic. What is really encouraging to me about this AMC A-list thing, and will probably start a domino effect throughout the industry, I believe it's not going to be long before we see Regal come out with a similar program, they may want to sit back for a bit and see how it works out with AMC, but I think it's inevitable that's going to happen. What really encourages me about this program is not that, hey, it's a great deal for me and blah, blah, blah. It's the first sign that I've seen from these theaters in a long time that seems to suggest that maybe the industry is starting to get it. Maybe they're starting to understand that the way we keep the movie industry growing and thriving is not charging the dwindling number of people who still come to our theaters more and more money, but rather let's put programs in place, let's change philosophies and strategies and get more people to come to the theaters. Let's make more money by getting more people coming instead of dwindling the number of people coming and charging those who are coming more. And this A-list thing seems to be the first real significant move I've seen by a theater chain to actually address that issue. Let's make it so people, more people want to come back to the movies. Because nothing is better than the movie-going experience. But they've been turning people away with their practices. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited as a film fan about seeing a major film uh, exhibitor like AMC Theatres making a big, bold move like this to try to entice more people to come back. And that's the way, you know, an old friend of mine used to say, there's two ways to make a million dollars, sell one thing for a million dollars or sell a million things for $1 or sell 5 million things for $1. And you just made more money. And I think maybe the movie theater industry is starting to clue into that, that we need to get people back into the theaters and let's start doing things to not take advantage of the people who are already coming but let's do something to get more people to come. That's the right philosophy. Now, a whole lot of things can go wrong with this, absolutely. But at least on that level, I'm desperately looking for things to be optimistic about. I think this is something to be really optimistic about and why I think it's such a significant move. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. All right, let's move on to the final.